All right. We have Till Boadella here with us today. Till, welcome to the Sales Funnel Summit. Thank you for being Hello. here. You have a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I know you have a lot to share with. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Definitely. So Till, today we're, um, we're going to get into a lot of things, customer value optimization and something you call the seed launch. But before we jump in, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, sure. So I started with the whole entrepreneur thing when I was 19 years old. So um, it was a, it's a while ago, it's like seven years ago, but I failed big time when I started out. Um, I had this idea to create a classified ad website with my girlfriend. So I had this idea that I just could put up a website and somehow people would just flock to that site and I would like become rich overnight. That was my vision back then. Um, of course, that didn't happen. So I, I learned how to create a website, put up a little store. Um, nothing happened really. You know, the, the big money that I expected didn't come in. The big traffic didn't come in. So I realized, wow, you know, there's a big gap between putting up a website and making money. And that gap is marketing. Yeah. So started to get interested in marketing, learned a lot. Um, two years later, I started the music licensing company called Direct Beats. So I sold hip hop instrumentals to artists, which is kind of a funny niche. Um, sold that business actually this Monday. So oh, that's congrats. Kind of after that, that closed there. Yeah. So I, I learned actually everything I know about marketing from that niche business, from building Direct Beats, you know, trying to make a living as a music producer. And I just applied direct marketing, direct response marketing to everything I did and I had kind of a competitive advantage because of that, because all our other people were just doing hope marketing, you know, just focusing on branding and all of that. So yeah, learned all, all that I know about marketing from that business, then started to work with clients, help them with their marketing, uh, started a business called uncovermarketing.com, which is also a blog which is now my main project. And uh, here I am at the Sales Funnel uh, Summit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. That's my story in short. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and I mean, nothing better than your own testimonial to say how marketing and how um, your methods are working in your own business. And that's great to hear. Yeah, that's important because I feel like there's a lot of people that are teaching marketing, but the only business they, ha the only business they have is like teaching marketing. So it's kind of a bit of a contradiction, you know? So I always value people who kind of came from nothing or built a niche business or something like that and learned their marketing there because it's a lot more grounded in, in reality oftentimes. Right. And they have yeah. the results that can you yeah. know, justify methods and you know, tactics. So, all right, great. So Till, can you, let's start off. Let's get right into it. Can you tell us what yeah. is a customer value optimization? What is that all about? Sure. Um, customer value optimization is a concept I learned from Ryan Dice and Perry Belcher. I'm sure you're aware of those guys. Yep. Um, so it's the idea that, you know, the hardest sale is the first sale. So the hardest sale is, you know, getting someone to, to give you money the first time. But once someone gave you money the first time, something magical happens because I don't know if it's something in the brain or some dopamine release or something like that. But, you know, tests show that people who gave you money already are like 20 times more likely to give you money again. So that's where the whole idea of creating upsells, you know, upsell funnels and sales funnels comes from because you don't just want to make one sale and then try and go out and find a new customer, but you want to take that first sale and make as much profit as you can from that. So it's a bit like catching a wave and riding it to the end, instead of just catching the wave and then getting off it right away. Right, you're going that deeper with sale. that particular client. Yeah, so that first sale builds the momentum, right? Because the person already took out their credit card, that you you're already, already sold them on the idea of what you're trying to sell them. So, you know, they put in their credit card details, they made, make the first uh, purchase, and then you just uh, take them through a funnel where you offer them one-click upsells, 
profit maximizers in the back end of that sale. And that's really where most of the money is made. So at least 50% of the money that you'll make will happen in that back end. That's pretty crazy because, for example, in the, in the music industry, we did a big launch. Well, big for, for the beat industry, made uh, $17,000 in like 34 hours, which is big. It sounds small, like if you compare it to the really big super niches, but for this niche, it was actually the biggest launch ever done. So that was pretty cool. Right. But half of the money we made from the front end offer, which was a $7 uh, tripwire sale, which was just a beat package, one gigabyte of beats for $7. So half of the money we made there and the other half, around eight and a half thousand, were made from upsells. So we offered a second beat package for $39, a third beat package for $27, one more upsell, which was like a marketing package for musicians, and then a free trial for a monthly continuity program to get like new beats every month. So that's an example for customer value optimization. Instead of just taking the money from the first sale and saying, okay, thanks for giving me the money, I'm happy now. Instead of doing that, you leverage the power of that first sale. You create a sales funnel sequence, a sequence of upsells, profit maximizers, that are aligned with that first sale. And that's where you then maximize the profit. So you can then spend the most money on acquiring a new customer, right? Because all your competitors who don't have a one-click upsell funnel, they can spend a lot less on advertising because they make less profit. So if you actually focus on customer value optimization, you have those upsells and every customer that enters your funnel is worth more to you. That means you can spend more money on acquiring new customers so new people can enter your sales funnel. Right. right? <clears throat> Hold on. So, before, I, before I let you finish, I just want you to step back and ask us what are tripwires, what are upsells, what are one-click um, upsells. I just kind of want to give everybody um, in this summit a, a fair chance to understand exactly what you're talking about. Okay. So the tripwire sale is a fancy word for a front end offer. So it's the first offer, the first product someone sees on a landing page. It's the first offer someone can buy. And the idea of a tripwire sale is the idea that you want to make it very easy for people to enter your sales funnel. That's why the, you know this fancy name tripwire, because it's like a low cost offer, usually between one dollar to seven dollars or something like that you see it being used with book launches all the time yeah. like the book with the tripwire and then they have a complete upsell funnel in the back end so usually you know if you have an offer for seven dollars that's really amazing like an irresistible high value offer but that's really cheap that's like a no-brainer like you know something that you would be silly not to buy if it's in your market in your in your area of interest that's a tripwire. So you can convert as many people as possible from being prospects into buyers. That's the purpose of a tripwire, converting prospects into buyers. Because when you do that, something magical happens because the relationship changes from prospect to business. Um, it changes to uh, customer to business. Right. right. So the tripwire comes after the lead magnet. Well, you've driven traffic to your funnel and you've gotten that email or their contact with the lead magnet, you're moving on to the next step, which is the tripwire. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So usually, yeah, you would offer a lead magnet first, and then on the thank you page of the lead magnet, usually you create a one-time offer where you offer the tripwire. Okay. So and you would give away the, the free giveaway, and then you, you would, you know, show the sales page for the tripwire instantly after the opt-in with a little note like, you know, we we sent the free whatever giveaway to your email, uh, check it in 15 minutes in the meanwhile, and then the tripwire offer. Uh oh, okay. And yeah. after the tripwire, so this is happening immediately, do you do any, what's the next step after the tripwire? Uh, after the tripwire, you want to offer what, what's called your core offer, your main product. Um, you know, it really depends on your market. Sometimes a tripwire can also be higher priced, so it's always relative. So the pricing is kind of 
depends. Mm -hmm. I have friends that are in the service business selling explainer videos. Their tripwire is three hundred dollars. <laughs> the offer is like two thousand dollars for a complete video. So it's always in relation, but usually in the in the info market, in the experts market, a tripwire can be seven dollars, and then the core offer would be something like thirty-seven dollars or forty-seven dollars, right? For maybe some sort of training. Right. So you want to have like a ladder, a value ladder. So the tripwire is the lowest investment someone can make. And then instantly, as the first upsell, you show them the core offer, which is your main product, right? Right. And they can buy just with one click. That's the whole point. It should be a one-click upsell. So they don't have to re-enter their credit card information. They just click the button, and it's added automatically to their order. Okay, so that's what we mean by one-click upsell.